Welcome back to Joe's Not Worried About It, where we turn market anxiety into profit. I'm Joe, and by the end of this video, you'll know how I'll worried I am about NVIDIA going up against general purpose CPUs. For decades, the x87 architecture CPUs ruled the data center. For those in the know, they know. Intel chips, general purpose compute, predictable workloads, but that era is completely ending. We're living through a once in a generational shift, going from propellers to jet engines, and NVIDIA is the one building the runway. AI compute versus legacy compute. Here's the reality. The x87 is rigid, serial, and inefficient for modern AI and parallel workloads. AI compute demands high throughput and an accelerated infrastructure that CPUs just weren't built for. Enterprises cannot scale generative AI, LLMs, or real-time simulation on CPU-only systems. So, the center of gravity is shifting from general compute to accelerated compute, and NVIDIA is catching every legacy architecture in that shift. So, NVIDIA has partnered with Intel, and we're calling it the Trojan Horse Move. This year, NVIDIA announced a complete partnership with Intel. Intel will build custom x87 CPUs with NVLink baked in, tight integration with NVIDIA's GPU chiplets, and NVIDIA also bought about $5 billion worth of Intel stock. Casual. That's not a coincidental bet. That's a strategic alignment. Now NVIDIA gets to ride along with the 100% x86 install base without giving up control of the stack. It's like letting the old infrastructure invite you in and then replacing the engine mid-flight. NVIDIA isn't just building Blackwell superclusters for hyperscalers. They're selling RTX Pro AI servers to everyone else. These are the ones that other companies get. We're talking Disney, SAP, Hitachi, Foxconn. And why? Because most companies can't rip and replace their entire stack, but they can augment it. These servers bring GPU acceleration to existing x86 infrastructure. No forklift required. And this is a strategic moat. We're calling it hybrid infrastructure. This isn't just good business, it's smart warfare. Customers no longer have to choose between CPUs or GPUs. NVIDIA gives them both and gradually shifts the workload to the CUDA libraries, their Tensor RT, and their accelerated compute models. And that's how you absorb an ecosystem without forcing a revolution. It's quite smart. While AMD and others chase raw performance, NVIDIA is chasing entire system control. And it's flat out working. So here's what's happening. Let me break this down for you. The x87, which is the old school chips, is becoming outdated fast. And Intel is basically getting taken over from the inside. Classic Trojan horse. And NVIDIA is becoming the new base layer of all compute. Not just for AI, but for everything. So am I worried about the x87 CPUs regaining dominance or about NVIDIA losing this war? Not at all. Because the age of general purpose compute is over. We're not flying propeller planes anymore, which are the x86 chips. NVIDIA built the jet engine. That's their CPUs and CUDA and GPUs. And now they're selling it to every airport in the world. Drop a comment if you want me to cover more. I know this is complicated. So subscribe, stay sharp, and above all, don't worry about it because you know I'm not.